Hi everybody, it's me Lisa. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I hope you'll click like and subscribe if you enjoy my video. It's a snowy Sunday morning here in Maryland and I'm just kind of sitting here in my craft room watching the snowfall. We're only supposed to get a couple inches. Um, and, but it just looks so pretty out the window. So I have a haul this morning to share with you. Tuesday morning, Dollar Tree, Walmart, and I have one item that I picked up at Sam's Club. But before I do that, I'd like to share with you some stamps that I got from my friend Kathy, wood block stamps. She works at Michael's and um, when they have discontinued items, they'll put them in grab bags and grab boxes and um, things like that. Anyway, she ended up getting a couple of hundred wood stamps from her employer for just a few dollars. And um, she had many duplicates. So those of us that come over and craft at her house weekly were able to pick and take what we wanted. So I wanted to show you the stamps that I got from her. This one, With God All Things Are Possible. This beautiful flower stamp with in a heart. Look at how gorgeous that is. It's huge. I'll give you an idea. It's as big as my hand. Happy Easter. This cross. Little butterflies. I got a truck and car set that is just adorable. I'm missing a couple. They're probably out on my table. But anyway, I'm missing one. This little car. This one. Truck. I don't know where the other one is. This little rabbit scene. There's no otter like you. How cute is that? Little camera. A little dog that says, I heart you. And a piece of luggage, a suitcase, and one says, enjoy the journey. And then also this set of fruit stamps. So thank you very much, Kathy. <laughs> uh, I appreciate you sharing um, your load with me, uh, your windfall that you receive from your store. Um, I really appreciate it. I really do. I'll be enjoying using those in my journals and cards and everything. So on with the haul. I'll start with Tuesday morning. I picked up this Easter paper kit pack, Hello Easter for $6.99 by Echo Park. Shows you the papers that you get and some of the stickers that you get on the back. I don't have very many things for spring, so I picked that up. And again, I don't have really very much for summer. So I grabbed this summertime. This is not Echo Park. This is Photo Play, also $6.99. I love that you get the birds and the lemons. We know about me and lemons. And then here are some of the elements that you get on the back love to make a springtime journal, summertime journal also, and just put these in my daily creative journal that I'll be sharing soon. As soon as I finish one, I don't, or maybe I'll stop halfway and share. I picked up this cool yarn for $3.49. It's called Stitch Bird, and I really like variegated yarn with little black threads through it. It's very cool. Haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet. Might use it to hang jur uh, journal charms. Not sure. Lemons. 
lemon wreath on a wood background. I just think that's so cool. I'll be decoupaging that into my journals. Art journal, creative daily journal, all kinds. But wait, there's more. I picked up this journal, this Lang journal. I can't believe it was only $3.99. Owl Friends, it's called. And this is what the pages look like. With a little owl. So cute. This will be a creative daily journal when I finish the one that I have. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. If you've ever heard that song, it's a song of my generation. This was $3.99. And it's just plain white paper for journaling. And it has some cool icons on the back. Egg roll. <laughs> like the egg roll on the typewriter. Look at this cassette tape. <laughs> Kids nowadays don't know what that is. That's for sure. Um, I picked up this Kelly Creates set of word stamps for $4.99. In my daily creative journal, I try to come up with different ways to put the month and the date and the day of the week. So this is one I thought was cool. It's large, large days of the week. Some abbreviated, some full. And then on the other side, you get sentiments. Congratulations, all the best. Missing you. Welcome home. I love you. Congrats. Thinking of you. Holidays. Happy birthday. So all of those I thought could come in handy. So for $4.99, all these stamps? Yes, please. All right. So that's it for Tuesday morning. Got a few things from Walmart. First off, I have to say this is my happy find of the week, maybe the month. Cicely Tyson, Just As I Am, her memoir that she wrote came out a few days before she passed away. And um, I immediately wanted to, to read this. Um, she was a brilliant actor and brilliant human being. And um, I got this at Walmart for a couple dollars cheaper than it would have been on Amazon. So I can't, I can't wait to sit down and read this. I'm, I'm just so happy that she wrote this. I loved her in movies like Sounder. Um, just, just a brilliant woman, really. So next up, I got some metallic jelly roll pens. You get five. And I think this was $7.50, which is kind of pricey for five, but I really wanted some metallics. I got a pack of Valentine cards. And one of the reasons I wanted these was to use the front cover in some of my journal pages. I really like that. I mean, that's a year-round sentiment love. 99 cent heart stickers. 99 cent heart stickers with envelopes. More stickers, different color hearts. These animal ones, I think I bought these before. Dogs and cats, how cute are they? And then lastly, I don't usually go for scented stickers and I don't really care for them, but um, the smell does wear off after a while if you stick these in your journals. But I did love the looks of these, so. Uh, I need a piece of white paper. There's a glare from my light. Sorry. Turn that over. All right. And what else from Walmart? This little panda paper pad. I love pandas. My mother gave me a stuffed panda for Christmas when I was a little girl, and it's just really stuck in my memory. Um, I loved that panda. Um, so that's kind of why I felt drawn to this paper pad, and it's magnetic, but I'm not putting it on my fridge. I'm just gonna peel off sheets to use in my journal. And then lastly, some foam stickers for 98 cents. 
that's it from Walmart. Before I show Dollar Tree, I'd like to share with you this magazine pack that I got from Sam's Club. Um, Tina Epp and Thelma Hall and some others that I enjoy watching on YouTube have bought these packs, uh, magazine packs, and they're pricey, but think about what you get. These are $25 for this magazine set, um, but I got it for $17.50 at Sam's Club because they have 30% off all magazines all the time. So for $17.50, let's open it up and I'll show you what I got. And why I got it was so excited is because it's Peter Rabbit. I love anything to do with Beatrice Potter. I love her books. And um, I read those books to my children when they were little. And also, you know, anything rabbit for my daughter. <clears throat> so here is the magazine that you get with all kinds of ideas for things to make and instructions for some of the things that you can make. Wow, this is bundled up well. This is the humdinger of a prize right here. Look at these Peter Rabbit stamps. Squirrel Nutkin, Peter Rabbit. Who else is on here? There's a little porcupine type looking character. And there's some sentiments. It's your birthday with love. A little thank you just for you. So I just love these. This is the main reason I got it. Now, I'm not going to pay $17.50 for a stamp set. But you do get the magazine. And you get these other items. Let me show you. You get envelopes to make cards. You get the cards that were folded in half. And you get the goodies to make the cards. Obviously, the stamps. You get these little foam squares for making your things. And you get all these pages full of cardstock ephemera. Here's the first one. This one. Oh my gosh, look at these little bunnies all over this. This would be so perfect for anything that you're doing for Easter. Look at these little bunnies. So adorable. Oh, you get two of each, I guess. Yep. And here's some paper that you get that you can fold over to make something, a card or whatever. So it's different when you fold it over. Look at that. That is so precious. You know what would be fun? is to fold this over and make a little card and use those little rabbits to place in this kitchen. So you get a couple of those. You get a couple of these polka dots and then a little forest scene. Oh, look at this one. The squirrels in the forest. Oh, I love anything with creatures. I just am so hung up on them. Oh, this is beautiful. Yep. You get two of all of these. I mean, what's not to like? This is little squirrels and then some swirly orange design at the bottom. The squirrels are very tiny. I'm here all day going through this. Okay, and then just some sheets of paper. These are snails. Look at Peter Rabbit squeezing under the fence, running away. <laughs> if you're familiar with the story, you'll know why these are meaningful. I'm sorry, guys. This paper bag goes on and on. Oh, here's a Halloween-themed Peter Rabbit sheet. You get two. Another 
another style. Oh, it's the same one, I think. It looks like it might be the same one, but it's on pink paper instead of blue. Some little onions from the patch where Peter keeps grabbing food. Some leaves and acorns. And I think that's, oh no, there's more. A couple of sheets of this one with little rabbits on it, little polka dots. Wow, this is endless. This is that little porcupine hedgehog looking. I'm not sure what kind of creature that is, but he's adorable. Makes such nice background papers for your journal. The shovels from the garden where Mr. McGregor tries to chase Peter out. I love those books. Oh, this is precious. Little bunny threesomes. And um, I, that's the last one. So, I mean, you get all this for $17.50. I mean, the stamps would run you at least $10. Um, in a store, maybe more. Um, that would be like a Tuesday morning price would be like $9.99 for those or something. And it would be more in other craft stores. <clears throat> and then you get all these papers. You get all these ephemera pieces. You get cards, envelopes, and foam. and the magazine. Like I said, the real reason that I wanted it was for the stamps. <clears throat> but I was delighted to see everything that comes in it when you open it up. I think it's worth the money. I won't buy these you know, magazine kits often, but they still had some Christmas ones on the shelf there at Sam's Club, but I wasn't interested. I have so much Christmas stuff next year so okay so on to Dollar Tree I'll just empty this bag so the crinkling does not go on hope everybody's doing well my friend Michelle Summer just started a new YouTube channel she has never done before she has about five videos up and it's called Crafty Ruse, all one word, Crafty, R-O-O-S. Um, look her up. It says Michelle Summer next to the Crafty Ruse. She has a fabulous start to her YouTube channel. She does hauls and she'll be doing crafts. And um, the first couple videos that she did are of Michael's grab bags and grab boxes for $5. Let me tell you, I have never been able to get my hands on any of those when I go to Michael's. But she did, and um, she just had some great finds in there. And thank you, Michelle, for thinking of me with some of the Jane Davenport things you said you'd set aside for me. I really appreciate that. Okay, so on to stickers. I got pull one on the side. Easter stickers. It's gotta go. That's a little better. Eggs. Egg stickers. These bunny stickers with the googly eyes. How cute are they? Different types of bunnies with googly eyes. I grabbed a 60 count pack of table scatter in pink and red hearts. I don't scatter my tables. I glue these in journals and things. Um, I got two of these little booklets of 256 Easter stickers, kind of a deal. We've all seen these before. And this one's a little different. And 
let's see, what else did I find? Oh, Hello Spring napkins. I thought these would be really nice to decoupage in one of my journals. And I have 14 of them, so I can share. Um, these funny stickers, they have a 3D head on them or 3D uh, wings on the pig and things like that. They're so cute. These Valentine stickers with the foods and the hearts. I love mugs with hot cocoa in it. That's a thing with me. I just love that. Mermaid stickers that are 3D. It was a sticker day, let me tell you. Um, this is a repurchase, the thankful set with all the flowers. The daffodils. Love that. Good times, life happens. Um, I just adore these little teapots. So that sold me in teacups. Just adorable. Sticking all these in my journal. Why not? Um, this, I'm not really keen on gold vases, but I love the poppies and the flowers. I can live with the gold vases. That's a repeat. That's a repeat. Okay. So what else did I find? Um, I found a whole bunch of sets of these little figurines that Tina Kazarian is always showing. And I can never find them. Uh, they're pretty picked over, it seems, by the time I get to look at them. But I, I, ha I really lucked out. I got these little, uh, it's a beehive and some little trees on this one. Called Fairy Garden Figurines, if you've not seen those at Dollar Tree. Most of you have, I'm sure. You get a frog, a turtle, and a bird on this one. So I'm going to be making some spring fairy gardens and I will be sharing. Look at the gnomes. You get three gnomes. And this is a different set of little gnomes. So you end up with six different gnomes. This is just some little signs, the little doodads to stick in. Then these kind of female type gnomes. I also picked up a pack of these bunny erasers, but they can be used in a lot of projects. Shadow boxes, fairy gardens, they're the perfect size. So there's that. And I have one more little bag of things from Dollar Tree and we're all finished. I have things from, <clears throat> excuse me, from Amazon. But I'll be showing those separately, and I'll be doing a review of some sticker books that I got from Amazon. I'll be doing that review in the next couple of days. So I found some fairy garden houses, this one. This one. And this one. I feel very fortunate. Um, they usually don't have these, like I said, when I go. But thank you, Lord. <laughs> I'll be using this to make some fun things. So thank you for watching, everyone. And thank you for your continued support of my channel. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. And I'll be seeing you this week with two things. Um, a glue book flip through and also a sticker book review from Amazon. So have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.